Hey YouTube, it's Rob, streaming some uh, new Azorius prototype uh, build. I, it, I mean, it's similar to my last one, but I've made some significant changes. Um, and I think they're all for the better. You know, when I stopped and, and took a step back and looked at what I was using and what I wasn't, um, the deck was winning. It was winning all the time, almost every match. But... Uh, there was a few little places I felt like I could have tightened up, so I'll see how it goes. Um, I can't believe I had forgotten about this. You know, why not? It's a force spike. Die okay action. That's okay. I mean, he'll probably take this. He took Dissolve. Interesting. That, uh, I replaced the Condescends with Dissolve. That was one of the major changes I made. Because I, I, you end up spending three mana usually, at least anyway, for the Condescend. And this is guaranteed, it ends there at three mana and you still get a Scry 1. I thought, when I first read about this card, I thought it sounded pretty good. That's the best of the, you know, single, for that casting cost, I think this is the best one. I wonder if he's playing my 8-rack. That'd be interesting. Always flattered to see that. Uh, crap. Yeah, I better... Mana tie that. quick with the lands and then play this and see how it goes. Ah, oh, he gets the path. It's gotta be, man. It's gotta be, um, 8 rack. I can't think of what else it would be. Yeah. I think that's bad. Call me crazy. So I guess we're racing now. Yeah, I 
I don't like the Liliana's Caress. I don't like it. But because of exactly why it didn't work here. He played all his discard, and then he played that, and then what good was it? It's a dead card. You'd be better off just having that card be a discard spell. Or a Liliana. might be running Pyroplasm, but it's going to be too late at this point. That's some nice artwork too. I like that. for him. I'll tell you about that right now. I thought it was bad to start with. I put Think Twice in over a Baby Jace. is my deck, but you know what? They're playing inefficient builds, like, I want to talk to the guy and, you know, straighten him out, you know, don't use Megram, do not use Liliana's Caress, it's not going to help you. Um, but we'll see, I mean, that new, the new card that's coming out, Waste Not, that could take the deck to a whole new level. Uh, to be honest with you, that uh, the eight rack deck it, it could change everything for that deck. It gives it, an ex you know, when when you put it in that specific deck, you try and dump it in another deck that just has a few discard spells. Forget it. But if you put it in specifically eight rack as another redundant win condition, that's all it is. It, it's not going to make the deck, you know, completely different, but it just becomes even more resilient. Um, the, you have so many ways. You've got eight racks, you've got your DRS, you've got your Muta Vaults, and then you've got this Waste Knot coming in. That's, that's a lot of uh, very cheap, very effective win conditions. But anyway, getting off the point. Here, here's the deck and what I've done to it. So this has come in over Baby Jace. Um, I, I'm running four of these now just because I, when I'm testing a card, I, I usually put in all four and then I'll dial it back if I need to. I'm only running three of the Mana Tides, but um, 
that is uh, is replacing my repeals because I, I found I just was not casting repeal very much. A lot of the times it was just sitting in my hand. Um, so I'm trying this out, and why not? It's a force spike. You know, force spike is great. If force spike was legal, it'd be played all over the place. And I happen to have a deck that. It's the same thing, so uh, so there you go. That's my uh, my deck. I think it plays very very smooth and nice. It's got um, let's see, 25 different cards that will flip the Delver. So there you go. And it's got great inevitability here. Um, the Geist is a fantastic main win condition, and it's a fun one too. But let me know what you guys think. It rocks. This deck rocks the house. Uh, later, guys.